Hey guys, before we start today's video, I just want to say thank you. Uh, our first month on YouTube, I was expecting to have about a thousand subscribers and we, well, we blew it away. We're at, I think, almost 20,000 subscribers right now. So uh, thank you all so much. And with that being said, let's go on to our video. Hey guys, we're back in my parents' kitchen today. We're making a steak, not any steak, we're making a steak with blue cheese sauce. Formerly known in French as sauce roquefort. Let's go. For a recipe, here's what we need. Starting off on my left, which is your right, we need, you guessed it, steak. I am using hanger steak, also known as butcher steak or hanging tenderloin. All that you need to know is that it's good steak, not too much fat, two pieces, about 250 grams each, and it's affordable. We also need blue cheese, a good amount. For our sauce, shallots, cream, a dry white wine. Get a cheap wine, a dry one, not sweet, dry. For our steak, cognac, and I'm making a full meal, so broccoli and potatoes will be our garniture. For our potatoes, we're gonna use parsley and garlic. And to cook our steak, we'll need duck fat and for our sauce, beef glaze. To make our beef glaze, go check out my dad's channel. First step, potatoes, let's make some room. Steak in the fridge and our potatoes front and center. Our potatoes are quite big, we're gonna cut them into two or four depending on their sizes. Grab our potato, cut into two, cut into four. One last one and we're done. We don't want our potatoes to brown. We'll put our potatoes in the cauldron and we'll put water just until we cover potatoes. Not enough, and two liters. Salt, 20 grams. Heat on high, mix in our salt, and we'll wait for it to boil. While waiting for our water to boil, we'll move on to our broccoli, and we'll grossly cut the head of our broccoli off the stem. It's enough for today, the rest will be for a later date. Cut it to smaller pieces. Look around, any other pieces? This one's pretty big. Cut in two, and our broccoli for later. And now more prep. Our garlic on the table, we'll smash it, and bring it all together, and we'll finally chop. As always, three fingers on top, pinky and thumb away from the action, so they're safe. Bowl, knife at 15 degrees, and we'll reserve for later. Our water is finally boiling, 25 minutes like this, and let's continue our prep work. Moving on to our shallots, I'm using three of them, cut them into lengthwise, finally slice them, and we'll chop. Bowl, shallots, reserve. And now parsley on the table. Cut a nice couple pieces. We don't need too much, that should be enough. Bring it all together. If you guys wanna learn how to cut with a knife, go check out my dad's cooking lesson, how to use a knife. It's in French, but you'll learn a thing or two. Bring all our parsley together, bowl, and as always, we will reserve it all for later. I'm gonna clean my table, and I'll see you guys soon. My chopping board is beautifully cleaned. Move on to our blue cheese, bowl, blue knife, and we're gonna cut it. it. Doesn't have to be perfect, we're just cutting it to help it melt faster. And now, I'm gonna go clean my hands and do some washing up. After 25 minutes, our potatoes are done, and we're gonna strain them. If you wanna double check to know if they're well cooked, grab a knife, no resistance, it's cooked. One last one. And now we need to wait for our steam to leave before we can continue our potatoes. Our water is back boiling, broccoli inside, and now we need to wait three minutes. After three minutes, our broccoli is done, heat off, and we're gonna strain our broccoli. I am not cooling them down under cold water because I do not want them to become sponges. Now make some room and we'll start cooking our potatoes. And now for potatoes, heat on max, duck fat in the middle. Don't worry, there's no calories, we can put as much as we want. And we want to wait about 200 degrees Celsius. Spread the fat around nice and evenly, and we'll wait for 200. We're at 200, we'll put our potatoes inside the duck fat, coat them well. Now we wait. No salt because our water was salted when we cooked our potatoes, and no pepper because we'll burn our pepper right now. Pepper will be for after. Now we wait. After about three, four minutes, we'll put our garlic inside. As always, as my dad would say, tourne va tourne. Now we'll wait for our garlic to cook slightly and to brown just a bit. My garlic's starting to brown to stop it from cooking anymore and to burn. I'm gonna add the parsley. One last tourne va tourne. Heat off, heat here low. And we're gonna reserve for later. Second pan where the first pan was. Heat on max, now we wait for 200. My pan is at 200 degrees Celsius. Grab our duck fat in the middle. Equalize it. And now our steak. Big one here, smaller one here. We're gonna wait about 30 seconds. No salt, no pepper. Pepper will be for later and the salt is already in the blue cheese. After 30 seconds, turn. 
Let's investigate. Not quite done. I'm looking for a medium stage. For us done this, it's up to you. Turn again. Now the fun part. Cognac and flambe. And we'll flambe one last time with the rest of the cognac. At this point, our steaks are done. You will reserve them for later. Now it's time to make our blue cheese sauce. Shallots inside. We're in a spatula. At this point, we're gonna grab our white wine. We want our white wine to drop about half its volume. The volume of our wine dropped by about half. Now we'll move on to our blue cheese. We'll add it all inside. And with a small whisk, gently mix in our cheese with the wine. The hard part is done. Now we just need to be patient. We'll break up any big chunks and make this process go faster. Before we reduce the volume too much, we'll add in our beef glaze. A couple spoons. And now we'll let our sauce reduce again. At this point, spatula. And now we're looking for a nice, thick consistency. A bit like maple syrup. Pepper. No salt, the cheese is really salty. And now we cream, about 200 milliliters. And the heat's still on high, we want to reduce our sauce to a nice syrupy consistency. After a good 20 seconds, we're slowly getting to our consistency. Let's investigate. Small ladle, we're getting there, but not quite what we want. After another 30 seconds, let's investigate again. That's exactly what we're looking for. Heat off, we'll let our sauce cool down just a little bit before putting our steaks back in. Flip them over, and now we are ready to serve. Our potatoes over here should be enough for now. Broccoli, and our steak. Before we play our steaks, let's check out how we cooked them. Grab one steak, put it on our table. As you can see, my steak is medium rare, just as I wanted it. Not too blue, nice and juicy. And now let's play our steak. We'll grab some sauce. And there we go, we're already at the end of our recipe. If you guys like the recipe and you want to see more, go check out my dad's channel or me next week. See ya, bye.